All right, this chapter is about meiosis and the continuity of life. Now, to go back to some of the uh, individual properties of life, let's think about um, one of the requirements to continue life is that organisms be able to produce more of their own kind. Now, this can take uh, several different forms, uh, certainly, but uh, what we're going to spend most of our time on uh, in this particular chapter is looking at uh, sexual uh, reproduction. So, um, let's see, another important term uh, related to uh, this chapter is heredity. Now, when we look at heredity, uh, we're going to look at what gets passed on uh, from parent to offspring, in particular, uh, it, information. You know, we talk about traits being passed on uh, from one generation to the next, but uh, most specifically, we are looking at information in the form of uh, DNA that gets passed from parent to offspring during sexual reproduction. So, uh, we'll refer to this as the passage of genetic information. from the parent or parents to uh, their offspring. Now, uh, this next characteristic can arrive uh, through various means, but it is significant to the long-term survival of uh, population and species nonetheless, and that's variation. So, uh, what can occur is uh, there can be differing uh, combinations of genes uh, and therefore traits that can uh, be expressed uh, in offspring. So, we get different forms of genes or traits uh, and this can occur due to either mutation, which we know is a change in the order of those uh, nitrogenous bases in DNA. So if you change the order of the A's, T's, C's, and G's, you'll end up getting a new protein that can lead to new traits or characteristics. Or we can get new combinations of traits through uh, sexual recombination. This is uh, simply sort of the reshuffling of genes uh, during meiosis and uh, the production of the gametes so that uh, when a new organism is formed, the organism will have a combination of genes uh, and therefore characteristics uh, of both planet, uh, planets, <laughs> parents. All right, uh, so to review, this chapter looks at how heredity, or I'm sorry, hereditary units called genes or chromosomes get passed from parent to offspring. Specifically, we're going to look at how chromosomes are packaged during meiosis to ensure uh, a diploid number of chromosomes are maintained between the generations, uh, as well as having the uh, positive impact of increasing variation in a population, which is ultimately one of the most important factors in the evolution and long-term survival uh, of a population.